Hello, I'm Todd Smith, and this is your appellate tip of the week. This week's tip is don't respond to a petition for review unless you're asked. So the scenario is this. You have won an appeal in the Court of Appeals, and the opposing party has filed a petition for review with the Texas Supreme Court. What do you need to do about filing a response to that petition? So some things to know to set this up are, the Texas Rules of Appellate Procedure allow you 30 days to file a response to a petition for review. But Texas, uh, particularly the Texas Supreme Court, follows what's affectionately known as a conveyor belt system. Uh, the petition for review will be denied within a certain period of time unless one of the justices picks it up off the conveyor belt and specifically requests a response. It can be more than one justice that can ask for the response, but all it takes is one. So because of this conveyor belt system, the default rule is that the petition will be, res uh, will be denied. And so therefore, uh, you don't need by default to spend your client's money and your time putting together a response to a petition for review. You can wait and see whether the Supreme Court is going to request uh, a response from you. Uh, and then uh, take it from there. And the court will not rule on a petition for review uh, unless it has requested a response. So the best practice in this situation is, rather than wait the 30 days, uh, the rules also provide that you can file what's called a waiver of response. And all the waiver is is a very short letter that tells the Supreme Court, um, hey, we know there's a petition for review that's been filed, we as the respondent don't intend to file a response uh, Supreme Court unless you ask us to. And so the effect of this is that it cuts off that 30 day period. It, it can greatly shorten it. If you file a, a waiver of response a day or so after uh, the uh, petitioner files its petition, uh, then the clerk's office will know, hey, there's not gonna be a response. We don't need to wait around for 30 days to figure out uh, whether there's gonna be one filed. So we can go ahead and tell the justices that there's been a petition and forward the petition uh, upstairs for them to review. And so uh, this can effectively speed up the conveyor belt uh, by as much as, as 30 days or so. And if the court is going to deny the petition, if no one's gonna take it off the conveyor belt, uh, then it can greatly increase the speed at which that decision is made. So. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tip and we'll see you next time.